Hey guys, welcome to this video. Here we are gonna be looking at the financial summary on a job. So I find the best way to demonstrate this is to create a fresh job and I'll go build that financial summary out and explain each step of the way what is happening on that report. So let's jump into XPM and we'll check it out together. Okay, so here we are in the job manager. Now what we're gonna do is go to new job, select the client, so let's just go uh, business bagels limited. And then we choose a template, so let's just do our budgeting and cash flow. We want to make that state as general billable. Set the due date and then add myself to the job. Cool, and then hit save. So once we've done that, I want to show you the job financial summary. Now it's obviously going to have nothing in it because there's nothing in the job yet. So there it is. As you see, the estimated cost, nothing, quoted nothing, actual cost, nothing, billable, invoiced, or nothing. So. Let's go populate some of this information. So let's start with a quote. You don't have to do a quote, but I wanna show you how the quote populates. So if I go new quote, it's gonna bring through the task that we had applied by the template. Now the task has got a default base rate attached to it. So that is the cost to the organization. So this is the default rate. Uh, when we actually do actual timesheets, it pulls through the staff members rate. So we've got $50 and then billable is 150. But we might say, hey look, we don't want to bill 900, we can get away with 1500 because this client is stacked. Right, cool. So now we're going to go issue and print. And then we choose our standard quote, hit print. And there is our quote. So fees, budgeting and cash flow, $1,500. So send off to the client, they accept it. And then what we can do is jump back into the quote and then hit accepted. Just like that, cool. So now if we go to financial, and then we go print financial summary, you'll see that we've estimated the cost of this job be $300, so that's the six hours we've budgeted at the $50 per hour base rate, and then $1,500, and that was actually the 150 an hour that came through as the default rate on budgeting and cash flow, but we've gone and written that up to $1,500 because we might have more expensive people working on it, or we just found that, that we can get away with charging a bit more for this job. So what it's given us at this stage is an estimated profit of 80%, $1,200. And this is the difference between what we've quoted and the estimated cost. So let's go and do some timesheets on the job. So go back to the job timesheet and let's choose myself. And let's say we budgeted six hours, but I took seven and a half hours and then hit save. Go to financial. And you'll see that my rate is actually 118 hours. So even though the task rate was set at 150 an hour, I've come through at 180 because that's my personal rate within XPM. So uh, when we quote, it's set at task rates. When we do our timesheets, it's set at your staff rates. So now let's jump in and look at the financial summary. So jump in here. You can see now that we've got the actual cost has come through at 375. So that's pulling my base rate, which is $50 an hour. So my base rate hasn't changed, but my billable rate was a bit different. And I've done more hours. So what we can see here is that billable is $1,350. So let's go and do the invoice now. So if we go to job, financial, and then we go uh, new final invoice. We're going to invoice based on the quote. If I choose actual time and cost, it's gonna pull through the timesheets at seven and a half hours at my rate. If I choose quote, because we've got a quote in here, this is the way to go. So it brings through our fixed price of 1500. So I can just go approve and print. Standard invoice. And you'll notice when I print this that uh, the way I've set this template up is it brings through the time and rate. That's not what we wanna do because those don't calculate out. We wanna make sure we're using a template that doesn't have the time and rate. So it just says budget and cash flow and the amount there. But we're not gonna to worry too much about that because we're not sending that to the client at the moment. What I'm interested in is our financial summary here. So I jump back in, financial, and then we go print financial summary. And this is our completed financial summary. So what we've got here is we have invoiced $1,500 and the billable was 1350 and then our actual cost was uh, 375 and what we can see here is that we've actually made a write-up on this job $1,500 and we've got our profit there as the difference between what was invoiced and what our actual cost is. 
So that is how the financial summary works in XPM. It's a very, very powerful report to be using to see what profitability we've made on the project. This was a very simplified example. And when you do it in practice, you're probably gonna have multiple tasks and multiple lines. And what you wanna be doing is focusing on the bold at the bottom, because that shows you uh, the total amount of the cost invoiced and the billable on the job. So hope that all makes sense. Go and run those in your practice to see how you're performing and I will see you in the next video.